shiny Pokemon. They're incredibly beautiful, but what are they? Some people say they're just Pokemon with sparkles, however I say more. They're a status symbol because they take so long to obtain. Therefore, I made the decision to start April off right and let's do a shiny only run in Ultra Sun. Obviously, the first Pokemon we have to obtain is Litten. Therefore, I decide to go through and pick him. But there's this long animation you have to go through for encounters. Whoa, oh my god, it's shiny. It's shiny. Oh my god. Oh, what are the chances? What are the chances? Jesus. Oh, first attempt. Whoa. Well, what can I say other than that went really swimmingly? So let's see the bugger in action. We beat down how using just our Litten. And he is gorgeous. Before we can get any more Pokemon, we have to help Cosmog out as he's being assaulted by Spearow. So we do that. Pretty soon after this, we get a catching tutorial so we can finally get some Pokeballs. So oh, shiny. Pathetic. And with us now having Pokeballs, we can begin the long, hard, and arduous journey just hunting around until we eventually manage to find something like a shiny Pokemon. It took me a while, but then we have this. Whoa! Oh, it's a shiny! It's a shiny! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can't believe it! Can't believe it! Oh, it's well under odds as well. Only a thousand. Oh my god! Whoa! That's insane! That's insane! Whoa! Yeah, boys! Catch yourself a Veneri. We then end up running into someone, and they've got a Veneri too, but theirs looks really weird. It's not got any pink on it. It must be ill, and obviously we don't want her Pokemon suffering, so we just need to go and take it down. After this, we use our shiny Pokemon to take down Hop, and we get a bracelet for all our hard effort. Not only have we spent ages searching, we've now beaten him. Not gonna lie, I don't want to know what he's doing in there. Oh, but there he's evolving already, that's mental. I know we've only been hunting for a little while, but whoa, that's cool as oh. Nice. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful animation. And we have it. Shiny low funny, everyone. It's shiny low funny. With that, it's time to start searching for our next shiny. I decide to go through the grass and it takes me thousands of encounters. Like genuinely, I don't know how long I was sat here for, but it was thousands of encounters before we finally get to this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Shiny's alright. Shiny's alright. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes. What a beast of a Pokemon. Imagine that being the shiny. There's so many encounters in this area, and that is the shiny we got. <laughs> That's mental. That is mental. Let's catch this thing. Whoops. Yikes. What a massive error on my part. But you won't believe what happens on the very next encounter. Oh my god, shiny Zoro, shiny Zoro, shiny Zoro. Got it, we got it, we got it. Our shinies then have the pleasure of beating down some kids and their teacher. Having a low punny at this point is honestly basically a cheat code. After a bit of progression, it's time to start our shiny hunting yet again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there took like 4,000 encounters. Oh my god, oh my god, 4,000 encounters and we got it. We got another one. Oh, that's mental. That is mental. Yes, that's our fourth shiny. It's our fourth shiny of the run, baby. We then use Low Punny to defeat the first Totem Pokemon being a Gumshoes. Obviously, that gives us our first Z Crystal out of many, and let's carry on with the run. Being a shiny only run, obviously, that means we're going to do a bit of shiny hunting. And honestly, I just sit here for a few hours while waiting for one to pop up. Eventually, something does happen, though. Oh, what are the chances? Shiny. Oh my god, what are the chances? What are the chances? Oh my god, a Diglett as well. A Diglett as well. That is mental. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Just look at that thing. That is beautiful. It's little button nose and it's brown head. It definitely looks like a poop though, doesn't it? 
Beautiful. Look at that tarot card. Gorgeous. Ooh, my Diglett's evolving. He's going to become three little blue guys. Oh, look at that majestic locks he's got on him too. What a beautiful shiny. Like, I'm so glad I spent the hours finding him. I decide that I need to beat Olivia before I do any more shiny hunting as I've made very little progression of the game. Therefore, I need to even out the amount of shinies I'm getting along with the gameplay. Olivia down, I might as well waste some more of my time. Therefore, I just stroll through these fields until I manage to find a shiny Pokemon. Right, Kate as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Beautiful. Oh, he's finally evolving. Finally getting there. Ooh, we're going to get Incineroar. Oh, that is definitely the best looking shiny in this game. By far. And now we've finally got the Zoro revolving. Beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't that Zoro a gorgeous man? It is, isn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> we did it again. Got another one. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. After a hundred hours, that one took us one hundred hours to get. How mental is that? It's so over odds. Like literally a hundred hours. That's mental. I think how much time I've spent on this, guys. Think how much time. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. And with me spending that much time on one Pokemon, I think that's worthy of the video getting a like and subscribe. After that, we have to progress through the spookiest part of the game while stuff's moving around us. Luckily, my shiny Incineroar makes very quick work of any ghost types that stand in our way. I have the joy of using my shinies to take down the big bad Guzma. He didn't really stand a chance though, all he has is bug types. Plus, for some reason, his Masquerade really wants to use ice moves against us. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Obviously then, we have to do all the Aether Paradise stuff, no matter how creepy it becomes. Yikes. Progressing a bit further, we then have the opportunity to go and grab ourselves an Aerodactyl on Pony Island. Oh my god, it's shiny. Oh my god, it's shiny. It's shiny. Oh my god. Oh, that's mental. That is mental. Oh, ho, 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 that's crazy. Oh, the chances. <laughs> we then have a few battles against numerous legendaries, but unfortunately for us, none of them managed to appear shiny. Even though I was trying my hardest, it just didn't happen. As you guys have probably guessed by now, obviously this is one big April Fool's joke. However, I am willing to commit to actually doing a run like this if you guys want to see it. Just let me know below if you actually want to see a shiny only run. And I figured I got this far, I might as well make it to be champion with these shiny Pokemon. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Thank you and goodbye. And...